Hi, this is Heavy and this is my i32s speakers from Eno Audio. These have uh, turned up quite a stir at some audio forums because uh, of the ledge here and the step response these babies can do. Especially from a guy AJ in Florida that basically says that it's impossible the uh, measurements that the designer Ingmar Roman has presented are a hoax, that they're manipulated, smoothed out, and everything like that. So I just thought I, I would, would show you a little demonstration here in my room. I don't have my Earthworks microphone right now, it's out on loan, so I use this crappy little uh, microphone for, for my uh, receiver. I don't have my external sound card, so I use this uh, laptop which is supposed to be well probably 18 kilohertz or so cutoff frequency for the microphone and I also use this computer here for playing uh, the stimuli the sync to pulse so here we go starting the pulses going over to my crappy laptop Pushing just record, We're getting a couple of pulses. There we go. We stop the music, and also we can see here that that the cord is actually oops, the cord from the laptop is actually it's on the floor here, and it goes directly to the microphone. And I've used a program that does not do any sort of a rendering or something. It, it just plainly captures what, whatever the microphone registers. So let's go into this and see what it looks like. It's uh, quite difficult to operate the computer and at the same time film. You should try that sometime. There is one go and go into it. Can you see it there? I can't get any closer than that because it's hard to focus. But you can see the pulse. You can also see a little bit of stored energy right after the pulse which is probably due to the microphone or, or something around the microphone. And if you don't believe me I can do them with better equipment and get pretty much exactly the same response curve in where Roman has shown. So AJ, it's up to you. Show me yours.